Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can change your store name and your store URL in Groovecart. So say you want to do a total rebranding of your store, everything from the ground up, theme, site name, everything. Maybe it's not doing as well as you want, maybe you feel like you found a new niche that you're more passionate about, doesn't matter. That's going to come down to rebranding entirely. So the first thing you need to do when doing that is change your store name. So once we log into the Groovecart dashboard, we're going to go to this menu up here and we're going to click the gear icon, which will bring us to settings. So once we get to the main settings page, we're going to see store info. Here's where you're going to be uploading your new logos, uploading your new favicon, which is basically this little icon right here. So at the top of browsers, this is what's going to show. So if you change this, whatever you change this to is going to show up here for your customers. It's a cool little thing. So here under that is going to be your store's name. So we can name that whatever we want. I'm going to name it stationary R us doesn't matter what it is uh, you'll probably put a lot more thought into that but that's how you change the store's name and we just press save and as you can see the data updated successfully perfect but that doesn't necessarily change the URL that's just not how domain names work changing the store name isn't going to suddenly change the registered domain name of your store so what do we do now? Well, we can go over to Domain at the top of the screen in the menu, click on it, and you're going to see some domains connected to your store. This is the one we currently have. This is one I tried to link in the past. But basically, this is going to give you instructions on how to set up a new domain name. Other shop hosting platforms can do this within there where you can register a brand new domain name from within them but with Groovecart it's going to take a few more steps so if you look in this box right here this is going to give you instructions on how to set up a domain name you already have so you're going to have to go and purchase a domain name all by yourself um, they have official instructions on how to do it from here uh, Namecheap, GoDaddy, and OpenSRS, which is what Shopify uses. Like I said, Shopify and other platforms can do this natively within the hosting platform, but Groovecart's a little bit different. And so if you're just getting started with domain name linking and you're not really sure what to do, I would probably suggest using one of these three that are officially supported with instructions because I tried to link a store to a different domain name and I had a lot of issues before I could get it working and it was a lot of it's a lot of headache but I eventually got it but if you follow these instructions from here and they're officially supported you just will have a much easier time than I did but once you go through the setup and get your domain name all you have to do is copy and paste that domain name into here and follow the steps uh, since I don't have a domain name to use I can't really do that but it's a quick process. You just need to make sure you follow these steps as closely as possible to make sure that you actually get it linked properly. And if, if it doesn't work immediately, uh, that's okay because even though it says it right here, a lot of people don't realize it's not instant. It can take up to 48 hours. In my experience, it's only been maybe an hour or two at the most. But mileage may vary depending on a variety of factors that happen behind the scenes. But basically, if you're rebranding a store, changing the store name and changing the store's URL and domain name is going to be where you start first, most likely. I've seen a lot of videos that don't tell you you need to change the domain name, so I figured I'd clear it up right here and just explain that you can follow the steps to get your brand new domain name set up so that way all of this is correct. But that's going to do it for this video. I've been Riley with Dropified. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you find our videos helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon next to it to make sure you never miss an upload from us. Lastly, if you have a comment or just want to request a video, I'd be happy to cover one for you and we'll try to answer you as quickly as possible. But besides that, have a great rest of your day and thanks again for watching.